So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to talk a little bit about democracy, and that's roughly what it would look like. A lot of shouting children with mouths open, hoping, hoping that at the end of the protest there'll be hummus. <laughs> <laughs> democracy uh, may be, may be uh, the enemy of progress where climate change is concerned for the time being, but we'll try and figure that out. Can anybody here tell me, because you're probably relatively intelligent. I mean, I've seen a lot of you, instead of laughing, doing some very good nods. <laughs> <laughs> It tells the person next to you that you didn't really find it funny, but you knew the fact and you understood the data. Um, okay, by show of hands, ladies and gentlemen, who here believes that climate change is an issue that needs addressing? Raise your hand nice and high if you think that climate change is an issue that needs addressing. That's almost everybody, that's tremendous. Uh, raise your hand, please, if you believe that at least in part the responsibility for that sits with the government at least in part. So raise your hand if you think the government have some responsibility, that is everybody as well. Raise your hand if you think that business, that businesses, shops and traders have some part to play in dealing with issues surrounding climate change. That again is everybody. And raise your hand please if you believe that we have a personal responsibility to deal with climate change, at least in part where this is concerned. That is 100% consensus. So there you are, that solved it. <laughs> Well, democracy is not an issue then, is it? But I did that, I did that deliberately because you see, this is the point. It's all very well sitting here nodding and going, yes, 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 but how do we communicate this beyond here? It's very difficult. I think this is a, an enormously problematic uh, issue, you know, because we, we're all, of the, those of you who voted uh, that you agreed with those things, uh, how many of you are convinced, really convinced that you are right? And I don't mind leading the charge on this. I think that I'm right on this. Really convinced. Really, quite a few of you are like, yeah, I am, but I'm too embarrassed to say. Still, that's, that's more than half of us. So, and how far are you willing to go, given that you're certain that you're right? To change people's minds. I'll fight a person. <laughs> See, it's difficult. It's very difficult for a government to convince people uh, to vote for them when part of their agenda is fixing climate change because despite what the views may be of some of the people in this room the solutions are not very appealing to most of us insulate properly spend money insulating your house properly and you may make over the next 10 to 20 years an 11 percent saving on your oh, fuck me that's sexy <laughs> oh, christ i'm actually turned on Whoa, what a solution that is go to fewer places drive less and shop more sustainably and eat less meat Oh, I think I just... <laughs> Did you? Because it is. It's exciting, sexy stuff, isn't it? Just rrr, makes me so, so fizzy. It's difficult. I don't, I don't, know, how, I don't know how people convince. So maybe, maybe we do what China does, you know? Maybe we, uh, we, we install a dictatorship. I'm not saying that I would be the right sort of person to be a dictator, <laughs> but I did go to a boarding school. So... In democracy, then, who do we vote for? Well, you could vote Green, I suppose. You could listen to Russell Brand and do everything apart from not vote. He's the best mouthpiece for the Green Party without realising that he's speaking. Everything he says is pro-Green Party, um, apart from the fancy stuff about what he wears and people he's had sex with. Um, you could vote for UKIP, I suppose. You could. I wouldn't, though, if I was you. <laughs> Winston Churchill said, the best argument against democracy is a five-minute conversation with the average voter. But that's, and I, I agree in essence, but that's the problem, isn't it? The elitist slow nods that happen in rooms like this where people all gather somewhere nice, where clever people come together and go, mm, mm, mm. we are very off-putting. I mean, I'm not, I'm on the telly, but... <laughs> We are. We're fantastically off-putting. People, uh, you know, people find um, idiots much more appealing than us. You see? <laughs> but they do. So I don't, I don't know how you do it. I don't know how you make it sexy. I mean, the breasts on page three have gone from the sun today. Maybe we replace them with um, some sustainability solutions. <laughs> 